here, you can find all the options to customize the wishlist page for your customers. For example, in this first option, wishlist page, you can choose which page to use as the wishlist page. By default, the plugin includes a built-in page that will be pre-selected here. So this wishlist, which is the page that we saw at the beginning. But you can also open the select field and choose any other page available in your store. In this case, you simply need to make sure that you also insert this shortcode into that page. Then, if we continue, we're going to see the Wishlist Detail Page section. In here, you can choose the elements to show in the Wishlist table. At the moment, only these three are showing, the product price, the product stock, and an icon to remove the product from the Wishlist. Let's have a closer look from our front end. As we mentioned, we have our wishlist table showing the price, the stock status, and over here, each product has this icon in order to remove them from the list. Now, let's go ahead and add some more elements to our table. For example, let's also include the product quantity, the add to cart option for each product, and only to compare it to the icon, let's also add the button to remove the product from the wishlist. Let's save our changes again, and we go back to our wishlist. I will refresh and now we can see the new information added. Users will be able to manage the product quantity directly from this page. For example, they can update the quantity they want. Also, it is possible for them to add the products directly to the cart thanks to this button. And below, we're going to find this remove option, which is the other option available to remove the products from the list with this button instead of the icon. Now, we still have more options to review, so let's go back to our plugin. Okay, if, as in our example, you decide to show the Add to Cart option for each product, you can then choose to redirect users to the cart whenever they add an item to it, simply by enabling this option, and you can also decide if you want to remove products from the wishlist when they are added to the cart, once again, simply enabling this option. Then another option available is the possibility to enable the share wishlist option so users can share their wishlist on social media. And by enabling it, you can decide which social media to show. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, email, WhatsApp, or simply show a share URL field. To show you all of the options available, I'm going to leave all of these selected and let's save the changes so we can see it directly on our front end. I have already refreshed the page, so let's scroll all the way down to the bottom of our table and over here we're going to find the sharing option, displaying all of the social media we enabled. Now, we still have a couple more features to review, so let's go back again to our plugin. Next, I want to show you two advanced features. In the plugin, you will find these two tabs, Popular and Promotional. Let's begin with Popular. Here, you will be able to find a complete list of the most popular products customers have added to their wishlist. And also with this wishlist count column, you will be able to easily see how many times a specific product has been added to a wishlist. For example, this product, the Salomon Running Pulse Bed, has been added to three different wishlists. And you can also use these filters to search for specific information. In general, this feature is super useful to understand which products of your store are popular and, based on this information, you will be able to create targeted promotions. Now, last but not least, let's see the Promotional tab. From here, you can enable this option to send an automatic email to your customers to alert them whenever a product they have on their wishlist is back in stock. So, if you do decide to enable this notification, you can further customize it. For example, you will find these two fields, category exclusions and product exclusions. In case you want to exclude specific products or categories from this notification, and then you can customize the email. You can set the type, heading, subject, and of course the content. As you can see with JIT Wishlist, you can incorporate the wishlist feature to your store easily and in no time to allow your customers to keep track of their favorite products.